Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. I was helping a gentleman the other day and he's he's trying to do it himself. He's having some problems removing this trash, what I call in the background. So I'm going to do it a second way and make it a little bit, uh, maybe slow down. And so this thing's almost 17. I got my I got my nudge factor set on 17. I'm going to take the black out of the way. I'm going to go and take the text out of the way. So now I just have the dragon. I'm going to control D and make a duplicate of that. <clears throat> and then I'm going to go to, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to trace the bitmap. Outline trace clip art. It doesn't really matter what it looks like. I don't understand those lines, but we're going to go with that. Now I'm going to move the trace over and you can see it's a group of uh, 239 objects. So we're going to not do anything at first right now. We're going to take a rectangle and put it around our bitmap and take the smart fill tool on any color. And then I'm going to nudge that out of the way, but I'm going to go ahead and fill in these other blue parts that might be part of what we need. So now I'm going to nudge that over and I'm going to nudge all the blue over. We don't really have to do anything to this because now those parts are blue. Normally you'd have to like combine it, but I'm going to get the smart fill tool again. I'm going to set it on a different color and I'm going to fill that in. So now we have that outline. He is saying that he doesn't have the intersect tool. So we're going to go ahead and get this ready to be intersect. I'm going to left click, right click. I am going to, I don't want to get rid of too much of the dragon. And we're pretty good. It's not, you know, not too bad. But I'm going to go to effects and contour, contour to the inside. One step, 0 0.01, rounded corners in red. And it's just going to give us a little bit of a contour. I'm going to go up to object and break the contour apart. I'm going to grab the contour and you can see the contours in red. So now we can go back up to our dragon. He's saying he doesn't have the intersect tool. The intersect tool is right there. In case you don't, we can go to object shaping and then there's another intersect tool and we can try that and it intersected it. So now, and I am going to put a yellow background around this thing or a yellow backing object order back of page. And you can see the trash more readily than you could on the white kind of, but it's not too bad, but this is all the trash is gone. But if we take now the shape tool and like grab those nodes and bring them down in this feather, don't worry about right now getting it perfect. Uh, worry about, you know, that doesn't look good. So I'm going to take away all the nodes. We got some trash or some blurriness. I'm going to bring that in. I think it looks better than it did. Maybe delete those nodes and we'll just see what it looks like. Add a node and bring it up. Now, after you've done this enough and you go all the way around it, we're just going to, you know, we need part of that eagle, but we're making it sharp. So I'm going to grab all the nodes and bring that down. And that doesn't look very good as far as an eagle's feather. So I'm going to take, and I'm going to delete maybe these outer two nodes, make it a little bit more pointed. That doesn't look too bad. You know, move your nodes around. Get away, get away from that gray matter because uh, that's going to show up on your... Now, we could have contoured more, but I think you're going to lose too much. And then after you go around, you know, like that doesn't look good. I'm going to delete that. That, look, that looks pretty good. After you've done this enough, you know, just take these three nodes and just move them over with the mouse. Just get rid of that gray matter. Now what you what I was trying to get at, once you've got this, 
and you're pretty happy with what you've got, we can use the smoothing tool set on like a quarter of an inch and you could smooth some of this out. Now, it's not gonna get rid of really the gray matter, uh, but it, it makes your bumpy note, look at this, all this matter right here, we need to definitely take back to the shape tool, grab those two nodes, and then delete these nodes. There's too many nodes there, you know. You know, this doesn't look like an eagle or a dragon, I keep saying eagle. You know, maybe double click your, you know, and maybe delete some of these other nodes. Give it more of a point. And then just go around the whole dragon like that. Um, those definitely don't need to be there, but we need to re remove the, the gray matter. Anyway, give that a shot. You know, see if that doesn't help using that other intersect tool. A lot of times it's easier to just start deleting nodes. Now we deleted some nodes, but you can get on that line, double click and add one. This is going to take a lot of work, but the end result, I think you'll be happy with. Anyway, I hope it helped him this time, and thank you for watching.